Hey Super Coders! Today, we're making our very own RPG game in Scratch. And guess what? <laughs> we're going on a treasure hunt with a pirate. First, we need a hero. I picked this pirate sprite. He's going to be the main character of our game. Cool, right? But a pirate needs a world to explore. So let's add a map. And here's a little trick. Instead of adding it as a backdrop, we're adding it as a sprite. Why? Because this way, we can make the map move around while our pirate stays in the center. Oops, the map is covering our pirate. No problem. From the looks category, grab go to back layer. Click it and ta-da, the map goes behind and now we can see our pirate again. Don't forget the when green flag clicked on top so it always works at the start. Now let's make the world big, like really big. Let's try setting the map size to 1000. Hmm. Oh no, Scratch only lets us go up to 150. Uh-oh, but wait, I have a secret hack. We add a new costume, just a tiny dot, rename it blank. Then in the code, we switch to blank, set size to 1000, and then switch back to the map. Boom, look at that. Now the map is huge, and it feels like we've got a giant world to explore. Let's also reset the position to the center with go to zero, zero, so it always starts in the right spot. Okay, now the fun part, movement. But here's the twist. We're not actually moving the pirate. Nope, we're moving the map. Watch this. If I click change Y by negative 10, the map goes down, but it looks like the pirate is moving up. Whoa, magic. So let's add that under when up arrow pressed. Now for down. If I do change Y by 10, the map goes up, but it looks like the pirate is walking down. Let's add that under when down arrow pressed. Sideways works the same. If I use change X by 10, the map slides right, and it feels like the pirate is walking left. So that goes under when left arrow pressed. And with change X by negative 10, it looks like the pirate is walking right. Nice. Now our pirate can walk everywhere. But wait, what's an adventure without treasure? Let's make one. I'll duplicate the map sprite, delete the map costume, and draw a treasure chest. Switch the costume to chest, bring it to the front layer, and place it somewhere on the map. Now our pirate has something to find. Now let's make our game even more fun. What should happen when our pirate finds the treasure chest? Of course, he should say something like, I found it. So let's go to the pirate's code. From the control category, grab an if block. Inside that, add a condition, if touching treasure chest. And inside the if, add a say block. Make it say, I found it for two seconds. But hold on, if we only run this once, it might not work properly when the pirate moves around. So what do we do? <laughs> Easy, we put the whole thing inside a forever loop. That way, Scratch keeps checking again and again if the pirate has touched the chest. And don't forget, Always add a when green flag clicked at the very top. Now let's test it. Move the pirate, touch the chest, and yes, it says I found it. Perfect. Hmm, but our pirate just slides around. That's a little boring. Let's make him walk for real. I'll add more costumes, one facing front, one back, and two each for left and right walking. Then when the map moves, I'll broadcast messages like up, down, left, and right. Now in the pirate's code, if I get up, switch costume to front. If I get down, switch costume to back. For left and right, I'll make the pirate switch quickly between two costumes. Look, walking animation. Let's test it. And wow, our pirate is really walking now. It feels so real. And just like that, we've built the basic RPG setup in Scratch. That's it for today, Super Coders. Happy coding, and see you in the next adventure. Bye.